So I'll say this, uh, and I've said it before. Uh, well, first of all, I just want to say I thank God that I'm one of those very lucky people who are able to do a lot of things. I'm not a professional at anything, but I know how to fix things just kind of intuitively and having watched my dad do a lot of stuff and having been poor myself so that I wound up having to do a lot of stuff. Uh, experience teaches you a lot. And I've said before, I don't want anybody, I don't want to show anybody how to do anything electrical because I'm not a professional and I don't want to be responsible for getting anybody killed. Having said that, uh, you may remember down in Georgia, I had a, uh, a power box short out on the RV and it's basically the box anytime you have a generator and another and a source of electricity from plug-in something has to turn the generator off when the electrical source from the plug-in comes on and then something has to allow the generator to connect when you lose that source of external power and there's a little transfer safety box that does that and on these RVs uh, like the one I got right here, this is a Class C RV. That box looks like this. This is the old box. And what I had here was I had wire shorted out here that caused a fire, you can see by the burnt stuff in here. And on this one, the line that went to the, um, the coach uh, came out here. The line that went in came in here. And one side hooked over here, one side hooked over here, and then there was a ground that hooked in here. Um, I read somewhere online that these boxes were replaced by a newer box because they had some defect. Well, that's the newer box over there. And what I'm doing with the newer box is basically taking all this apart, getting rid of it, and putting the new box in. And the new box is so clean and easy that I wanted just to show you can you see how what a mess that is? This one's got these six little lugs and these grounds over here. And basically, you know, you can just plug in the, the wire in and then the wire to the coach and then the wire to the generator. There's like, there's like a positive and a negative for each one of those and then a third ground, what I call a third ground, that goes in over here. So I just wanted to show you that that is such a much nicer uh, setup than that. Um, and I'm following the diagram here and I, I ain't gonna say any more about how I did this I'm just gonna say that I've, done, I've been able to get it this is the this is the source of power from the plug-in here so I'll connect up the coach and the generator and then uh, we'll have that done so I just want to share that much with you I'm not going to go into any more detail than that this new box is a uh, uh, th this old box if you compare them here, model ATS-30 is the old one, and model ATS-301 is the new one. Automatic line generator transfer switch. And most of the printable stuff here is very similar to most of the printable stuff here. And here's your diagram for this one, which is kind of like an old-style breaker box, and here's your diagram for the new one, which is uh, kind of like a new-style breaker box. Uh, I should say, I should have said fuse box, but you know what I mean? This has got the kind of, this has got the kind of things like an old fashioned air compressor would have these little, these little things that, you know, magnetic force causes them to connect and unconnect and all that. And this one does it all electronically through motherboards and things of that nature. So that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to cut this off now, finish hooking this up and, uh, if the force is with me and, and, and God wants it to happen, then uh, we'll have power here before you know it. Okay, there she is all in place. Oh, the joy. Let's go see if she works. We're good with electricity. All right. All right.